Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol INND. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30 minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, quite the event on this one today. Got the breakout, breakout of what? Well, this would mean a little bit more to those of you that have watched the past videos, but I talked about that red line there being a, a level of resistance, and it, it's definitely been a very stubborn level. But like I said this morning, broke above it, and then from there, it just never really looked back, continued basically a balloon that floated away the rest of the day. So more of the story here, a lot of updates need to be done moving forward. And first update, I'm just gonna delete that line out. Sure, that level still pertains to the chart, just not relevant right now, given how big today's price movement was. And from the presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing confusion because there's lines and clutter all over the place. So let's just try to keep this analysis as clean as possible. So one of the newest levels of support is what I would call the ideal level. Ideal means like, you know, what would make this chart look the absolute best going forward? And that would be if the price could stay up there above 0.036. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below 0.036, I am not saying the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that area, that would certainly be a very impressive sign of power moving forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period, simple moving average. Keyword definitely being moving. I understand the price is way up here. That line's way down there. But as time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher, which is very helpful because when it comes to gauging the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How you can best visualize that, that is what has been represented. Again, yeah, staying above 0.036 would be fantastic, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. In terms of levels of resistance, gonna have to squeeze things down here and go back into the chart's history quite a bit, because as you're seeing here, it's been a long time since the price has been up around this area of the chart. So the next overarching level to keep a close eye on moving forward. I think right where it got rejected today. Yeah, right there at four cents, which makes perfect sense why it got rejected. Check that out. On that bounce from several weeks ago, that's right where it got rejected. So I'm not saying it'll get rejected again, just saying it makes sense why the price is struggling at that area. And then if the price can push up through that area, next key area of resistance would then be right up there at 0.045. So 0.04, 0.045, next couple of key battlegrounds to watch. So let's see how this one continues to play out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.